First set, suffers to serve. Play. Big team love. Forty fifteen. First game. You were to serve. to 15.
15. Fifteen all. Thirty fifteen. Well, that ball lands on the line, so it's Leighton Hewitt who's got the first break point of the match. Now, Kathleen, you're right. Look at how sharply Hewitt is playing. That ball just grabbing the back end of the line. Break point, Leighton Hewitt. Juice. 124 mile per hour serve from Sampras fights it off. Sampras is going to have to get more first serves in. Because he has not been getting many free points. Hewitt forcing Sampras to really play a lot of tennis early here. Oh, wasn't that a nice return? Hewitt showing a little bit of variety there, playing the one-handed chip return. Hewitt mentioned when asked about Sampras, he said, I've got to keep those balls down because if they pop up at all, Sampras is just going to take advantage of them. We're at deuce. Sampras. 
And the first ace from Sampras. We talk about Andre Agassi having the best service return. Hewitt is making an argument that he should be considered in that elite group as well. And that is just the toughest shot off a 121 mile per hour serve. Wow. And 127 mile per hour serve from Sampras. Sampras. Sampras holds. We're on serve in the first set, 2-1. Sampras leads by two games, 2-1. For the men, you see an Arthur Ashe Stadium. People still coming Thank in you. from the outside grounds. A lot of doubles going on, but Leighton Hewitt will serve 1-2. Now this is a, a test for Sampras when the two are in the back of the court. He would play such solid defense. Sampras is going to have to find a winning pattern, a winning combination off the ground. And he doesn't necessarily have to hit winners off the ground, but he certainly needs to earn the short ball. You know, something in the middle of the court that he can come in behind in volley. He's not going to out rally Leighton Hewitt. Totally well. yeah, just 101 miles per hour, but great placement by Hewitt. Yeah, you're right, Kathleen. That was beautiful. Right in the corner of the corner His of the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get any more cornerish. And another ace by Hewitt. His fourth so far. And he holds. We're at two all. Oh, quick business from the Australian. I think that doubles win, the men's doubles championship, is going to give him a little confidence because he looks like he is absolutely sharp. He was asked about playing doubles. Uh, some of the women uh, uh, women dropped out of their doubles, certainly concentrated on their singles. He said, you know, it's been good for me. It's uh, kind of made me a little more match tough. It's made me work on the placement of my ball. So I really think it's going to serve to be an advantage for me in the semifinals. <laughs> Pretty well. Sampras thought about the flying Walenda leap, but he didn't have to, have to execute it. The ball was long. Well, that's his trademark shot, isn't it? <laughs> the, the leaping overhead. We'll save that one for later. Yep. You should see that at least once. 30 love. An ace for Sampras, equaling his fastest 31. serve so far, 128 miles per hour. I was only getting warmed up, right? 128. Right. I mean, that's it's so tough to control a serve that you're hitting that hard. These guys are just so good. Well, there you see an example of the speed that Leighton Hewitt will bring to this match. Ball was long. Leads by three games We're on two. serve in the first. 3-2. Such an old, old line at 29 years old. We're on serve in the first set. Leighton Hewitt will serve, 2-3. Leighton Hewitt, just 19 years old, six months.
15 love. And there are his parents. Glenn on the left was a former Aussie Rules footballer. Sherilyn is a Phi Ed teacher in Australia, so an athletic family. Is that Phys Ed? Is that what Phi Ed means? Phys Ed would be Phi Ed, yeah. Okay, just checking. Well, Leighton Hewitt really had to decide between tennis and Aussie Rules when he was just becoming a teenager. He played Aussie Rules till he was 13 and then said, you know, I'm not going to play this. I'm going to go full time with tennis. He certainly brings that quickness and that athleticism to his tennis game. Well, if you told me that Hewitt would have more aces than Sampras by such a large margin, I'd tell you you were crazy, but Hewitt already has six. Hewitt has had some very solid service games. I mean, he's only lost one point on his serve, so he is not backing down from this challenge. In fact, he did have a break point on Sampras earlier, so he's gotten a little bit closer than Sampras so far. Love 15. Sampras best, his fastest serve so far by one mile per hour. That one's on 129. His third ace. Boy, and that one really sounded like it was the fastest serve he'd ever hit. The ball is just cracking off the racket. Good. Two and seven. His fourth ace. Again, look at the reach. The power coming up through the legs, the uncoiling. So many fabulous ingredients in what might be the greatest serve of all time. With an ace, Sampras holds. 4-3, here in the first. Sampras leads by four against the three. We're on serve in the men's second semifinal match of the day. 20-year-old Russian Murat Safin already has his place in the finals. We're watching Leighton Hewitt of Australia and Pete Sampras of the United States. Hewitt will serve with new balls, 3-4.
Let's see if Sampras tries to chip and charge, put a little pressure on the Australian. Well, Hewitt loves to grind it out from the back. He can really put you off balance with his own hard shots, or he can just rally with you. Just get one more ball back into play. Sampras sails that one long. Sampras with eight unforced errors so far. Hewitt just with two. And Hewitt holds. We're at four all. First set. Looks like Pete broken a string. Yeah, it looks like he did. Of course, Sampras has all of his rackets, whether he's played with them or not, restrung each day. The stringer, Nate Ferguson, takes them all, cuts out all the string, and restrings them each day. Pete Sampras says his biggest problem is keeping those strings tight. I mean, why would he do that? Just if something happened to a racket front just on a day-to-day -day basis that would make a change? Yeah, the pounds will drop. He strings them so tight that he feels that noticeable drop in tightness, yes, he and he wants to have it just just right. He's almost up of 85 pounds, I believe. And he also uses a very thin, narrow gauge of gut. Just a little bit thicker than a badminton string. So he breaks a lot of strings, too. So he has about 8 to 10 rackets in that bag ready to go. And I've seen him you know, break 5 or 6 rackets in a match. I'd hate to have to have all my rackets restrung every day, you know. You got to pay the stringer, but I guess Pete doesn't have the kind of problems. Uh, maybe that, that's uh, just not the yeah, regular guy has. He has to worry about, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's got 10 bucks, 15 bucks a racket to restring, eight a day. It's $100, $100 a day just to keep your rackets happy. Yeah, that's going to cut into the income of a guy like Pete Sanders. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, just to remind you, he's made nearly 40 million in prize money alone. Just prize money. Yeah. 
But as I understand it, he doesn't have to pay for his tennis shoes, so he I should all even out then, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he missed that one. Of course, Sampras plays with a racket that is not made any longer, and, and the rackets he does like are ones that were made on a specific island in the West Indies, I believe. He only has 20 or 30 of those rackets left. Uh-oh. So he says he has enough to finish out his career with them. Okay, and Sampras holds. We are still on serve here in the first set. Nearly if I talk to a man named Jay Schwide here who runs sort of the racket stringing, as you mentioned, Sampras, top player like that, will certainly have someone specific who will maybe travel with him. And Thank you. And Hewitt fights off one break 30, point. 30. Still thirty forty. a little bit of that emotionalism from Leighton Hewitt. You see his parents looking on. Hear him yell, come on. Spot back to Deuce.
Jess Long. Bridget Wilson, fiance of Pete Sampras, actress. Well, he set it up, didn't he? Just missed the volley. Another break point, set point for Pete Sampras here in the first set. Sampras missing two backhand service returns on set points. I mean, that is uncharacteristically sloppy from Pete Sampras. And that ball sails well long. Advantage Hewitt. Well, Sampras is backhand, letting him down again. I mean, just a regular rally stroke there, and he hit it way long. Another come on from Leighton Hewitt. We're all even in the first five games all. No, I think Sampras senses that he's close here. He had the set points the last game. And I think he's using that as motivation to stay focused here on his own serve. I mean, he wants to get back and put Hewitt on some more pressure. That's a huge second serve, 116. And he backed it up nicely with the volley. I mean, I think there are some guys on the tour who wouldn't mind having that second serve for a first serve. Sampras, with a lot of respect for Leighton Hewitt, when asked about him, says he's really the future of tennis. And with a love game, Sampras holds. 6-5, first set. Now this kid Hewitt is the real deal. You know, this is just uh, a very high level of play from the first point of this match right through till now. And I think that says a lot about Hewitt, 
in his maturity, as you mentioned, Kathleen. He's really stepped up to the moment. Hewitt known for sitting in the corner of the locker room with headphones on, listening to Rocky music. He says he identifies with Rocky. I asked about that. He says, no, I haven't really listened to it all that much the last couple weeks. I haven't felt that I really needed it. You know, it's, it's become a part of his nature, I think. You know, the underdog coming back to claim greatness. But it's definitely a part of his uh, framework now. I mean, this is a guy who's going to be around for a long time, and it's the consensus in the locker room, too. You know, most of the guys get the feel that this guy is for real. Look at that. Dead even at percentage of net points won, but 30 times Sampras in to put pressure on Leighton Hewitt. Hewitt just up at the net three times. Hewitt also said he's gotten a lot of, of support from his fellow Australians. Very close-knit group. John Newcomb, Tony Roche, Patrick Rafter, so Darren Cahill. All told him, don't be overawed by the occasion. Don't let the occasion beat you. Just go out there and play your game. And he certainly not let this Arthur Ashe Stadium in the semifinal Thank at a Grand you. Slam take him off his game. We're on serve in the first. Leighton Hewitt is serving 5-6 to get it to 6-all in a tie break. Oh, a double fault from Hewitt. Well, you can see why, though. He sensed that Sampras was going to come in on him. And so he felt he had to do a little bit more with that second serve, so he made the error. His very first double fault, the match, left 15. Hey! 15 on. And we can see how the pattern and the rhythm of the points changes when you get that first serve in. Oh, another double fault, second. This game from Leighton Hewitt. 30 all. Sampras with a break point and a set point. Thank you. Saves the set point. Deuce. Just stretches Sampras out wide, opens up the court.
ahead, Leighton Hewitt. Fights off a couple break points to hold serve. Bring it to six games all in the first set. They'll go to a tie break. Six games all in the first set tie break. Well, Hewitt with some great defense. Sampras not able to finish at the net. And that could turn to be a key. If Sampras can't convert at the net on the big points, could spell trouble. I'll tell you, Hewitt has dodged some big points against him. Four set points down. The mini break. That's the first point. Huge. Sampras breaks right back with one all in the tie break. One all. Well, you could hear the crowd react to one deep shot they thought was out, but Sampras just cracks that forehand. Back even, one all. Some shot at Arthur Ashe Stadium. Well placed ace, 3-2. His backhand called long. They will change ends. Three points all. I really am impressed, Leaf, with just the composure of Hewitt. You forget playing against Sampras here. Just as the Arthur has stated, the, the people, the cameras. Grand Slam semifinal. We haven't seen any real evidence of nerves on his part. Yeah! <laughs> Fires a forehand into the corner. Samples will serve, 3-4. 
Well, this return doesn't do enough of anything. And Hewitt playing it very close to the line. Well, a challenging half volley, Sampras answered. Keeps it down low. Great camera angle there. Five all. Five all. be any more even. Each player 42 points apiece. But set point, Leighton Hewitt. Big second serve, 24 miles per hour. Sampras puts it away, saves set six point. All. We're at six all. Seven, six. Well, the backhand pass doing the damage brings him another set point opportunity. Come on, Rocky, give it to me, man. Ooh, we missed it. That was the first bad mistake. I mean, he's got the set right here. Short ball, and he missed it well wide.
Oh, ho, ho. that was big time. Well, he sets it up with this angle wide. He's able to get around the forehand now. And Pete Sampras now with a set point. And he gets it. Sampras in the tiebreak takes the first set from Leighton Hewitt, 7-6. Sampras leads by one set to one. Players will wait until the big crowd here settles in, takes their seats. Rarely do you see Hewitt miss that early in the point. Nine miles per hour, but dropped right into the corner and wide. 30 15. Oh. Situation like this now, Leaf. Time when the youth and experience, perhaps the temperament of Leighton Hewitt, works against him. Well, I think that he's been able to manage his frustration pretty well, at least so far in his career. He has that tremendous emotional energy, yet he always seems to burn it in a positive way. Thanks. Well, he's only made one first serve this game, and he's still ahead 40-15. Has to be careful about the length of his shots. He can't hit the ball too short against Pete. Because if he has enough time, Pete's going to increase that percentage of winners. He's going to make that one more often than miss if it's short. Oh, Pete's starting to take a walk. Thought that serve was good. It's called a fault. Sails long, <laughs> and here a shot of frustration this time from Hewitt. Yeah, and use, usually he uses that as a way to get more focused and more concentrated. Let's see how he responds now. Some good pressure there from Sampras. 40 all. Oh. 
Jesus. Sampras finally gets the backhand on track. And it brings him a break point. And Hewitt called for a foot fault. Sampa struggling on the backhand side here. Okay, not a clean swipe at the ball. And he has yet to capitalize on five break points. First game of the second set. First game, second set. And this is an example of continuous play, I guess. <laughs> Players will not sit down, but they will stop at their chairs. Well, it is pretty hot out there today. Yeah. You know, so I think the umpire is going to have a little more lenient take on that kind of thing. But again, Sampras right to the edge. Got another break point, but just unable to capitalize. Sampras will serve. Second game of the second set. Heck of a second serve. It's as good as many's firsts. In fact, there are times when Pete plays, you feel like he's hitting two first serves. I mean, he's not taking much pace off the second. We saw that in the tiebreaker when he just went after it. And just a second double fault from Sampras so far. Brings us to 15 all. Cross court forehand from Hewitt. 15, now that's what happens when you don't get first serves in. I mean, ultimately, he's going to adjust to the slower pace of that serve. And even though it was over 100 miles an hour, Hewitt was on it. Hewitt, great quickness. 
Got to that shot by Sampras. Sampras all over the net. 30 all. 30 all. And Hewitt makes a great pass here. And I think Sampras is a little surprised at how hard he hits it. Casual brilliance. Sampras holds, one game apiece, second set. Tremendously powerful serve, 101 miles per hour. Nice placement by Hewitt. That is his ninth ace. Third double fault. Fourth double fault from Hewitt. Sampras, first break in the second set. He goes up two games to one. the kind of game Sampras wanted to play after getting the break. And 
Sampras holds. Love game. He's up a break in the second. Beautiful serve. One three. Yeah, Sanford's asking Chair Empire if, if Keaton was called for a foot fault, which he was. Well, he was just not at the level he was earlier in the match. And you have to think that the pressure that Sanford's is putting on him is beginning to tell. from Hewitt. His 10th. <laughs> giving the line judge a little look. Pete Sampras' sister, Stella, is also the tennis coach at UCLA for the women's team. And Hewitt holds with an ace. Sampras will serve three games to two. And that was one of the greatest moments of his career and certainly one of the great moments in tennis history. Pete That's Sampras, excuse me, Pete Sampras is up a break here in the second set, serves at 3-2. He's taken the first in a tie break, 7-6. You know, I think Hewitt's burned a lot of energy here that first set and a half, and he's going through kind of a, a lull. You know, he just hasn't been able to get on the Sampras serve. He struggled on his own serve. So I think he's going to have to regroup. When you're in a lull with Sampras, you better hope that lull doesn't last very long. Yeah. That is for sure. There it is. <laughs> we saw the practice leap in the first set. See it. It's fist clenched. And there's the patented Pete Sampras flying up. Well, that one's a tricky one, too, because he had to come to the side. You should put a brand name on that one, because that's distinctively <laughs> his shot. There aren't many guys that can do it as well as he can. You know, a lot of guys can, you know, play the trick shots between the legs, but not many players can time the jump just so well and then crack that overhead. You know, and that's a return he was making. He's just a little anxious, perhaps pressing just a bit. Holds. Love game. Is up a break in the second. 
for two. Well, that's Sampras' second consecutive love game on his serve. Well, there are just times in the point when Sampras plays like a real man. And I'm telling you, sometimes Hewitt looks like a little kid just getting the ball back because this is a heavy artillery right here. I mean, that is just a monster forehand. Am I mixing metaphors there with artillery and monsters? Yeah, well, yeah. I think we all, we're following you. I'm following you. <laughs> War movies and monster yeah. movies. I don't know. Oh, that was pretty soft by Sampras. Just moving in. I think, I think he thought the serve was long for a moment, but the return more than made up for it. Now they're taking advantage of that second serve of Hewitt. Pete Sampras has a couple break points. Well, Hewitt doesn't even make a move for this one. Australian saves one. Sampras still with another chance to go up a second break in the second set. See Pete hesitate there just for a moment. Sampras all over that 102 mile per hour serve from Hewitt. Juice. Play serve, 97 miles per hour. One point away from holding his serve. Well, as I said, Hewitt has to be careful. The short ball Jeez. on Sampras' forehand. See how much time he has to see the ball? and select where he wants to go with it. Sampras is really just trying to play short points here. He's already got one break. So really he's just trying to go for it, give it a good ride. But I don't think he wants to play too long a game here. He's already ahead. Yes, he'd like to break, but 
I'm not sure that a long game that Hewitt holds is going to help Sampras at all. So Hewitt holds. He's down a break in the second. 3-4. We're in the second set, the second men's semifinal match today. Murat Safin took that first match in three sets against Todd Martin. But Pete Sampras will serve. He is up a break against Leighton Hewitt. Having taken the first set, 7-6. Thank you. Please Thank you. Base for Pete Sampras. Quickness of Sampras. Unbelievable at the net. Well, again, from a backhand volley to an overhead in an instant. Liking that T on the backhand side. It's his second ace this game in almost the same spot. Gets a little help from the net. Well, he is efficient on that wing. Yeah. Well, Pete Sanders might have caught a break there. A let serve. The return had landed right smack on the sideline. off on that second serve, 111 miles per hour. So Sampras holds 5-3 here in the second set.
Well, you can see the difference in how Pete Sampras plays when he's got the break of serve than when he's even. You know, when he's even, he plays a little more consistently. When he's ahead with the break, he takes more chances. That way he can either win more quickly or even if things don't go right, he can move on to his next service game. And Hewitt holds. Still down a break. 4 5 in the second. I believe if I peered over, we are in our perch sort of way high above Arthur Ashe Stadium. Leighton Hewitt. Sampras, as you saw, serving for the second set. can play a ball around the post and let's watch you try to pull this one around you know just wide I have to agree with the linesman call there you can see it just hits before the line that's a great camera angle there the super slow motion capturing that ball where it lands so I guess that means that John McEnroe since he's with Bill Clipman is now the senior statesman of the game of tennis think they're talking about over there um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I don't know uh, an 130 mile per hour sir fastest so far Pete Sampras 40 love Sampras takes the second set, 6-4. Leighton Hewitt will open the third set. Love. And another one. Very easy hold for Leighton Hewitt. Take the first game of the third set.
19 line. Well, this time Sampras does the damage off the backhand wing. Look at the angle there. Sampras wants to try and avoid a lapse on his own serve here. Now that he's got this lead, he wants to finish it out. Sampras not a big fan of hot weather in the past either. He's had, had some problems. Again, he's had a fairly easy time in this tournament. Hasn't gone to five sets. You mentioned a very warm day here. Changed his shirt a couple times. And a double fault, fourth from Sampras. Gives Leighton Hewitt a couple break points early in this third set. Sampras saves one with an ace. Do it with another chance. Sanford saves the second in the days. And that one just sounded huge. Resounding off the racket. Sam is really dominating these last set, first couple points here. God, with his serve, it's just phenomenal how he's able to raise his level when he needs it. That backhand way long. Here, one of the few airplanes you'll hear at this point in the U.S. Open. Most of the air traffic rerouted so as not to disturb the players unless the weather forces planes to fly overhead. Don't sacrifice safety, of course, but if they can reroute those airplanes from McGordy Airport, which is right next door, they will. with another chance to break the second game of the third set. Well, Sampras is really playing with fire here. He's got to come up with two consecutive good points now. I mean, Hewitt is down. You want to 
to keep him there. Don't let this guy get up off the mat. Turn down the line. Gets himself another chance for the break. And Hewitt breaks. He leads two games to love in the third set. just what Pete Sampras wanted to avoid. You know, the loose game on his serve. Pretty routine, just knock off a winner. Good work from Hewitt there. He was well behind the baseline. Came up with a difficult pass. Sampras could not make the stretch. You hold. He's up three love in the third set. Leighton Hewitt is up three games to love in the third set against Pete Sampras, but four-time U.S. Open winner has taken the first two. Sampras will serve to get on the board in the third. Hewitt's strength or fatigue will be a factor today. I think he's ready to run pretty much all day long. But I think you might have to worry about Pete Sampras. You know, can he go four or five sets here today? Because it's still hot, a bit humid. Yes. 
Sun has gone back behind the clouds, really giving the players a break. The this time of day, the shadows start to move across the court, making it a little bit more difficult to see the ball and from sun to shadow. Ball just caught the line. I mean, I thought he did an amazing job to get the ball back on the serve. And watch him come up with this pass. <laughs> what a finish. And Sampras holes. You would need something against him. Ace for Leighton Hewitt. Hewitt has rediscovered his serve. And with the 21st ace, Leighton Hewitt up a break in the third set. It's the first time I've ever seen John McEnroe not talking in a conversation. <laughs> I was say. 
guess he has to defer to the most powerful man in the universe. You think? John McEnroe would defer to the President of the United States? Not that hard to believe. All of a sudden, Sampras looks a little hangdog, and some errors are creeping into his game. Not as ruthless as he was the first two sets. serve will help. Hey John's trying to recruit President Clinton for Davis Cup. Such great hands, great touch of the net. see how far back in the court Hewitt is. So that means the front of the court is the advantage. And Sampras holds. Here comes the all-important seventh, seventh game, as Bill Tilden said. You either expand your lead to 5-2 or break back, bring yourself closer to 4-3. Sampras working the ball beautifully with his forehand, first cross court and then down the line. <laughs> that serve 111 miles per hour from Hewitt. has to be careful to serve into that forehand. He's headed down the middle, away from it that time. As you said in that all-important seventh game, he's now 15-40. Pete Sampras, a few chances to get that break back. Get him back on serve in the third set. And I'm surprised Hewitt went into the forehand. He'd already been burned there once. Saves one break point. Sampras has another. And this time it's Hewitt's forehand doing the damage.
Vince Pissett. Snappers breaks. Hewitt drops his racket. She gives steps on the strings. We're back on serve in the third set. 4-3. Much more important business, right? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Back to the business at hand. We're on serve in the third set. Pete Sampras just broke back. It's pretty cool that Clinton was here. Huh? It's, it's it's crazy that he cool. came out to see the tennis. Very cool. Sampras serving, 3-4. Get it all even, four games apiece. Sampras has taken the first two sets. Tie break in the first, 7-6, six, 6-4 six, in the second. It's the 19-year-old Australian, Leighton Hewitt. Anytime you break serve, you want to get that service game going. Just as Sampras wanted. Nice 30 love lead. He's probably going to come with something big. Maybe one down the tee here. Oh. 129, but the net got in the way. So quick, couldn't get to that one. Well, the first volley pushes it back behind the baseline. Oh, what, a, what an angle. Forty love. Athleticism of Hewitt. Caught off guard, off get off balance, just slams forehand down the line. This is Hewitt at his best. On the run, finding some open space. Mom and Dad. Hewitt's very happy with that one. 40 30.
just long. San Francisco holds. We are at four all in the third. Well, San Francisco did well there to square this set. He's down four two. Actually four one. He was down. So three straight games for the greatest player who ever lived. <laughs> <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> Although I'm sure there is a good argument to be made. Maybe he's not exactly the greatest, but certainly one of the handful. Rod Laver, Don Budge. The argument always coming up. We've got the French Open. Sampras not having won that, whether he ever will win that. This guy right here, we'll be seeing a lot of in the future. Yeah, amazing to think he's only 19 years old. He won't turn 20 until February. He's got a lot of tennis as a teenager left in him. Of course, the biggest tennis at him after this, not only the Olympics, but also the Davis Cup final against Spain. Leighton Hewitt, Patrick Rafter, take on Alex Carreccia, <laughs> Albert Costa, and Juan Carlos Ferreira. It'll be in Barcelona in December to see who wins the Davis Cup for 2000. And Hewitt holds, we're on serve, back on serve, I should say, in the third set. Samples will serve, 4-5. Welcome to you. That's a surprising error. But I think he senses that when he volleys into the two-handed backhand of Hewitt, he has to come up with something good. Of course, Leighton Hewitt will also be down in Sydney playing in the Olympics. Patrick Rafter, Mark Philippoussis, and Andrew Illy are the other Australians involved with that championship, which will happen right after the Open's Open is completed. Pete Sampras is not playing in the Olympics. He turned down the opportunity that was offered to him, as did Jan Michael Gamble. Vince Spadia has been added to the team in Agassiz's place. Agassi, of course, citing health problems in his family, sister and mom, diagnosed with breast cancer. So he will not go to Sydney. Nice opportunity for Vince Spadia. Well, here's an opportunity now for Hewitt. Can't capitalize on it. One last thing on the Olympics. So the American team then, Michael Chang, Todd Martin, Jeff Tarango. Just yesterday, Vince Spady added to the team, so. And down the middle, 16th days for Pete Sampras. 40-30. And Justin Gimmelstab always jokes that Pete Sampras was touched by God in the shoulder. Because <laughs> it, it is amazing to watch him serve so hard so late into a match. Oh. 
Justin Gimmelsahab also said after his match with Sampras, the ATP has had a sort of a new ad campaign, marketing campaign called New Balls, Please, to promote some of the younger players, such as after his match with Sampras, Gimmelsahab just said, Old Balls, Please, <laughs> the words, <laughs> these guys nothing you can't take anything away from these old guys like Pete Sampras or hey Diaz the umpire It's impressive. A beautiful inside out volley that was spinning away from Hewitt. Pete Sampras has the best overhead in tennis. Long from Hewitt. Sampras holds. We're at five games all, in the third set. That was a good second serve from Hewitt. the shot he wanted just didn't pull the trigger that forehand has really won some big points for him today Holds. Six five in the third. He won't lose. He won't lose by six and five. Well, this is an interesting development. Doug Spreen, the ATP Tour trainer, now on the court. 
Doug Spreen out of Cincinnati, Ohio. Longtime trainer on the ATP Tour. Of course, no timeout at all. It's just a changeover, a little liniment, a massage applied to the upper left thigh of Sampras. A little bit like a pit stop in NASCAR, you know. <laughs> Comes in, changes the tires, cleans the windshield, and he's off. Sampras is serving 5-6 in the third set. Make his way to the finals. We've got new balls. Well, that's the best thing that could have happened to Pete Sampras. I mean, here's a guy who dictates play with his serve. He's one game away from getting a tie break, and he's got brand new pelotas. I mean, you gotta love having fresh tennis balls in your hand when you're about to serve. Oh, they seem to be working just fine for him. Forty love. me a little worn out when they go over to the other side. Beautiful return from Hewitt. How quick are his hands? 121 miles an hour and he changes direction with it. Sampras. We're at six all. Go to the tiebreak. Sampras just a handful of points away from the finals of the U.S. Open. Sampras on Hewitt's serve. Sampras. Well, remember, Hewitt had two set points in that first set tiebreaker. Sampras turned it and the match around by coming back and winning it. It wasn't wide, it was long. And Pete Sampras throws in a double fault, his eighth. 2-1 Sampras, Hewitt will serve. there. Just couldn't do anything with it. Well, Hewitt is going to get to this ball. He tries to play the angle, the toughest shot. And I think Sampras was there. And that's how mad he is. 
Sanford serving, 3-2. Sampras lost his footing just a little bit. He would, took advantage of the opportunity. It was a pretty good dig from Sampras. I mean, that's still not a bad position. Yeah, he doesn't have any problems with his intensity, that's for sure. <laughs> Three all. No, this is just great stuff to watch. I mean, these are the moments that make Grand Slam so great. Or so grand, as you say. Hits it long for all. off the Sampras forehand. Just an amazing setup volley. Deep, and then the finisher. Pete Sampras just two points away from meeting Murat Safin in the finals. Well, I said he had the best overhead in the game, and this proves it. I mean, that is a tough shot. Three-quarter court, and he hits it clean. Match point, Sampras. Pete Sampras 
in three sets over Leighton Hewitt. Makes his way to the finals of the 2000 U.S. Open.